Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my Breaker. Thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate all your prayers, your comments. God bless you all. Thank you so, so much. Today, I'll be making a kimono jacket, a very simple kimono jacket without lining. I'm going to make use of this fabric. Um, this fabric is folded into four. I folded it with my biggest measurement, which is the my hip measurement or my bust measurement belt because it, they are the same measurements. So my bust is 46. 46 divided by 4 because this fabric is folded into 4 is 11 and half so what I have here is um 11 and half plus half inch for ease is 12 inches but you can use one inch for ease it's still okay or even more than that so and one inch for seam allowance which is 13 inches but I have uh, up to 13 and half so this is the starting line okay so the front one is folded into two and the back one is folded into two but on this front one i have extra extra one and a half inches this one and a half inches is for facing so i press it i fold it in so this is the starting point from this start shoulder, the starting point, which is the shoulder. For, so from the shoulder to this line is 17 inches, which is my half length. From shoulder to this line is 24 inches, which is um, my hip line. And from shoulder to this line is 38 inches, which is the length of the jacket. And this is 2 inches for seam allowance. So this one, I'll cut this one off. To mark my shoulder measurements, my shoulder measurement is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8, plus half inch for seam allowance is 8 and a half. I have 8 and a half here. On this side, I'll cut down by 1 inch for shoulder slant or shoulder slope. Then, from this side, I'll mark half of my round armhole, which is 9 inches, because my hand, my round armhole is 18. 9 inches. This is my chest line. So, I'll mark 8 and half, my shoulder measurement here also. So my neckline, I'm going to use a neck width of three and a half inches and neck depth of four inches or 3.75. I'll go for 3.75. Three point seven five. So I'll connect the neckline and the back neck width. The back neck, neck depth is one inch also, and neck width of um, three and a half. The neck width for both front and back will be the same. Okay, so I'll connect. I will connect this this shoulder slant to the neckline. I'm going to mark my bust measurement. My bust measurement is 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half plus half inch for ease is 12 inches. But you can add 1 inch for ease or more. And 1 inch for seam allowance.
this is my waistline. My waist is 40. 40 divided by 4 is 10. Plus half inch for ease is 10 and half. Plus one inch in allowance. My hip is 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half. Plus half inch for ease is 12 inches. But you can use one. You can use more. 12 inches and one inch seam allowance. So the same measurement that I have on my hip measurement, I'll put the same measurement on the lower part here. 12 inches and one inch for seam allowance. So I'll connect the lines. Okay, so I'm going to sew on this line, and this one is seam allowance. So on uh, this side, I'll get the midpoint. I'll connect front armhole, the back one first. On this side, I'll come in by 0 0.75 midpoint. Oh, this is my shock. So this is for front armhole and this one is for the back armhole. So I'm going to cut it, I'll cut the back one first, after that I'll remove the back one and trim the front one. On the shoulder slant here, I marked half inch for seam allowance. So I'm going to cut on this back neckline, this um, half inch for seam allowance, the back armhole, down, I'll cut it and show you. I've cut it, the back neckline, this is shoulder slant, this is half inch for seam allowance, back armhole. So now I'm going to remove the back one, then I'll trim the front one. I'm going to sew on this line, and this one is one inch seam allowance. So this is the back one. This is the back one for the back. And this one is for the front. This is the extra that I have for the front. So I'll trim my neckline. I'm going to trim the front armhole. Front armhole because his jacket is going to be open on the front side I'm going to cut this front one into two this is the center here this is okay this is the front one I'll notch here. 
this is the front one this is for the front parts so now I'm going to cut the facing so this is the one and a half that I folded in I notched it so I want to cut the facing I folded this fabric into two then I'll put this one one side of the front one on top See, this is the extra. I'll cut facing for it also. I'll put it like this and cut the facing. Okay. So, this face now measure like 3 inches. Is on this side also. I'll cut it into two. I'll cut first in for the back one. Fold the back one into two. I'll cut the black. This is for the back neckline, the facing for the back neckline. I'm going to cut this for the sleeve for the bell sleeve. It into two because I want two sleeves. Into two because I want two sleeves. So now I'm going to fold it for the circle. I'll fold it. I'll fold it again. Attach this flay to the basic sleeve here. So the round sleeve here is 13 inches around this, this point. 10 inches from my shoulder here is 13 inches so I'm going to use the circumference to get the radius so I'm 6.28 divided by 13 is 2 or you can divide 13 into 4 you can divide 13 into 4 if you want so I'm going to mark 2 inches So if you divide 13 into 4, you will get 3.25, yeah, 3.25. So what you have on this line is 3.25, if you want to use that method. So if you measure this line, it's 3.25. So I'm going to mark the length of this circle that I will attach to the basic sleeve. So from here, I'll mark 8 inches or 8 and half because I want the sleeve to be the circle to be the bell sleeve to be seven inches so from this line i will measure seven inches is the length that i want half inch to join it to the basic sleeve and half inch to hem it or one inch to hem it so i'll mark eight and a half but i can use eight half inch you can overlock first then foot so from top here i have ten and a half I will cut it on this line and this is the length that I want I will cut it on this line also I will do it and show you I've cut it so I have two here This is the basic sleeve. I will fix it this way on the basic sleeve. So
So what I'll do next, this is the front one. This extra that I have here, this is the right side of the fabric. And this is where I notched it. So I'll fold in half inch, I'll iron it, I'll press it half inch to the end. I'll do the same on the other side because I'll use hemming gun or hemming web to style up the facing on this side. It will be like this later. So I'll fold in half inch. I'll do the same on the other front one. This is the front one. From this notch is one and half inches, and this one is half inch that I folded in. I press it because this is the notch. I'll fold it this way. I will use hemming gum on it. I'll use hemming gum, but I'll do it later. So I did the same on the facing also half inch I folded it in so this is the right side of the front fabric front this is the right side one part of the front one and this is the right side of the facing I'll put it like this on the neckline from the edge here I'll use half inch to or quarter of an inch to uh, sew it to the neckline I'll do the same on this side, on the other part of the front one. This is the two facing for it. I did the same. And this one is the back one. This is the right side of the fabric. And I also fold the facing for the back one because I'll use hemming gum to tidy up the neckline. So, right side, right side, I'll put it this way. This is the basic sleeve that I'm going to use. I have a video on how to cut basic sleeve. So I'll measure six and a half inches because my round sleeve is 13 inches, six and a half inches. Then I'll connect it to same allowance on this side, nine inches on this side. So I'll go and sew it after that before I attach the circle on it. This is the basic sleeve. This is the round side. So this is the same allowance. I'll put it like this. This is the right side of this circle. This is the right side of this plate. I'll hold it like this. I'll put it inside right side. I'll put it inside the right side. I'll use half inch to sew it to join these two together. So on this side, I'll hold the same allowance this way. And use half inch to join it together. I'll do it on the other sleeve also. So after that, this is my round armhole. I'll fix this to my jacket. So this is the back one. I've sewn the facing to the dread to the jacket. So I this is the back one. This is the right side of the back one. So I've sewn the facing. After that, I now turn it this way and top stitch on the facing side. After that, I notched it and turn it to this side. So, on the front one, so I'll show you how you do the front one. So, on the front one, you will sew from the shoulder, you will sew to this point where we have the notch because the notch is from this notch to this point is one and a half inches extra so it's not included on my neck uh, measurement so you sew to this point to my neck measurement you will not include this one from this point you will come down and sew it together with this um this folded part you sew like this together with the folded part you stop here let me show you exactly what i mean you can see you sew from this part to this point you go down this is the notch here so this ones i'll trim this one off i'll trim off here you can you will trim it like this from this point you trim it this way 
So after that, you will now take only the facing and trim off only the facing. So I'm going to trim it. I will trim it this way. The two together this way. The two together. So after that, I will leave the main fabric. I will trim only the facing now. If you want, you can leave it like this, but I want to trim only the facing, not the main fabric. I will leave this one. I will trim only this one. I will trim only the facing. This is the main fabric. I will take it off. So this is the facing. So that's exactly what I have here. So now I will fold it this way. I top stitch, I notched and top stitch also. So I will press it. So later, I'll use hemming gum on this side, on the neckline, and also on this line. I want to join the front and the back one together on the neckline, so I want to join the sew it on the shoulder. This is this right side, right side. I'll put it this way. I'll put the shoulder together because I'll sew it the shoulder. So this one, I'll put the, the other side of the front one. I'll put it here also. So this is the front and the back. I'll hold them together like this, this way. Front and back, I'll hold them together this way. Um, this is seam. This is this seam here. This line here, they will align. Then this is um facing for the back one and this is facing for the front one so this facing for the back one i'll flip it over to the front one this way then i'll use half inch to sew the so i'll use half inch to join them together to sew the shoulder so after that i will now shape the side i'll sew on this line to the end on this side i don't have any line I will mark one inch on my chest line because I have one inch. I have one inch seam allowance. I will, on my chest line one inch. I will mark one inch on my waist line, one inch on my hip line, one inch on the lower part. I will connect the line. Then I will sew on the line. I will do it and show you. So after that, I will now uh, use this uh, hemming gun to tidy up this uh, part. The only thing I will do is to get the hemming gum, fold it into two or three and put it under this one and iron on it. It will be under and iron on it, that's it. The two sides, I've sewn the two sides, I've shaped the jacket. So after that, I fix the sleeve. So this is hemming gum or hemming tape. If you want to get it from online, it's hemming web or hemming tape. So, but if you want to get it from the shop, it's hemming gum. So, I used it on this top. I have this top on my channel, how to make female sneaker top. It's more than a year now, but it's still intact. I use it to tidy up the lower part. You can see no stitches here. And also the sleeve. I use it on the sleeve. 
So I'm going to use it on this jacket on the facing and neckline. Or I can also use it on the lower parts. I'll use this, I'll fold it. I like to double it so that it will last. You can just do it double. I'll put it under this. And iron it. Once you iron it, it will melt. It's like gone. So I'll put it close to the edge so that it will hold the edge properly. I'll put it very close to the edge. This is it. So I'll use it to tidy up the other side, the facing and also the neckline, the remaining one. So the only thing you need to do is to double this so that it will last and put it under and iron it with hot iron. Please subscribe. Click the notification bell so that whenever I upload new video you'll be notified. Thank you so much.